Are you struggling with hair growth? Have you been at the same length for years and years? If that's you, then this is the video for you because I'm gonna be showing you my start to finish hair growth routine. You formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and I know this very well. Amen. <laughs> So welcome, welcome back to the shower, guys. But first things first, before we jump into the, into the whole routine, we're going to file our nails first because what we don't want is our, our hair being snagged just by our nails. And now we're going to enter wash day. I know, I know. Wash day used to be the bane of my life until I started to use a mineral natural because now my wash day literally is done in half the time. I'm able to maintain so much more growth and I just have so much great more length retention. So first things first is to saturate your hair with water. The most important thing with natural hair especially is when our hair is extremely dry, it's so much more prone to breakage. So I always saturate my hair with water plain h2o and that will really help open up the cuticles a little bit and help me to cleanse my hair effectively i'm going to be using my favorite 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 shampoo from Amino naturals i do have a one liter bottle but i don't have a label don't ask you why but anyway i'm gonna go in and shampoo my hair okay guys shampooing your hair is a very underrated step in any hair growth routine because what you do not want is product buildup. If you have too much product buildup in your hair, it can actually cause breakage because if you have too much buildup, then no further product can penetrate and then your hair ends up being even more dry and yeah, the cycle continues. So I'm gonna shampoo my hair very well. I'm gonna do it twice and I'm also gonna be using a scalp massager. Why? Because this will help stimulate blood flow to your scalp my darlings this is what we want in any hair growth routine blood flow blood flow blood flow especially if you have any form of like alopecia or things like that you definitely want to be you know making sure you're stimulating that hair growth and as i said i'm going to shampoo my hair twice because it's so important to cleanse your hair effectively and of course i love this shampoo it does not make my hair dry it's infused with so many great ingredients that you truly want to soak your hair in. It's not one of those shampoos that you're afraid to use. You will love it once you try it. Trust me. And look, there's even a little bit of slip. Like, what is it that this shampoo cannot do? I'm so in love. When I formulated this, I just knew so many people would love it. And as you can see, there's a little knot. But guess what? We're not afraid. We're going to cut it. <laughs> And of course, we're gonna put it on the wall. So just rinsing that through, my hair is thoroughly cleansed and that is ultimately primed for healthy hair growth. And yes, my hair is now cleansed on both sides and my hair, I'm not thinking that's a little bit of shampoo that I didn't really wash out, but, oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's how my hair is looking, thriving, flourishing. And we're going to go in to detangle. This is another over underrated step, actually, in any routine when it comes to natural hair. The most amount of breakage that occurs is when we are detangling our hair. So I feel like I repeat myself, but I do it because it's so important. In every single video, I tell you that detangling your hair safely is one of the most important steps in any routine. So guys, if there's only one thing you get out of this entire video is to detangle your hair with the absolute and utmost care. If you're gonna spend money on any kind of products and you're looking for length retention, I would say invest in a good, really amazing detangling conditioner. Of course, I love the Tangle today because it makes your hair feel like silk and it honestly cuts your detangling time in half and helps you just prevent any breakage and your hair will definitely love it. So I'm just showing you guys that I'm actually going to go through through with a comb. Honestly, guys, I don't really use a comb often. The, the only reason I do use combs and that's how much hair that came out. That's normal for me. Our hair sheds about 100 strands a day and that's how much that came out. But anyway, using a comb is good for removing excess shed hair because what you don't want is a bunch of shed hair just sat in your hair, creating more tangles. So I definitely recommend, if you are gonna finger detangle, 
just follow up with a little bit of a comb not to detangle but honestly just to remove shed hair so finger detangle first comb second repeat after me finger detangle first okay comb second so yeah i'm just gonna detangle my hair away Look at that slip, baby, baby. Please do not be alarmed by the amount of hair that comes out. If you do not detangle your hair for two to three weeks at a time, you're gonna have a lot of shed hair, okay? And it's completely normal, provided you are being really safe. And as you can see, my hair is just completely transformed. And honestly, guys, this tangle slayer, the reviews speak for themselves. I'll try to insert some so you can see. I'm then gonna go in with my deep conditioner. I do not skip deep conditioning guys and it really 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 does pay off deep conditioning is so good for just helping to replenish your hair of nutrients it helps to moisturize it for longer and it's just it's like just a little bit of self-care it's, it's a treatment for your hair so i definitely recommend if you are on this hair growth journey with me because i'm still on it with you guys then definitely definitely deep condition every single wash day because your hair will definitely thank you for it and i make sure that i put that deep conditioner into sections just so it can really 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 penetrate you don't want to leave any strand out so definitely make sure you really work that in okay And if you are especially a low porosity babe, you definitely want to be using a heat or a steam cap because this will up your moisture levels to the next level. So if you feel like your hair is constantly dry, constantly breaking off, then I definitely recommend investing in a little steam cap because it will help take your deep conditioning to the next level. And I've rinsed out my deep conditioner. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing to my hair. For this month, I was going to... Do a blowout actually if you didn't know already doing stretch styles is one of the most important things in any length retention routine why especially for type 4c girls you need to make sure that your hair is stretched because you don't want to have unnecessary tangles so to prep for my blow dry all i'm going to be doing is applying a little bit a little bit of leave-in conditioner because we don't just want to you know rinse out that deep conditioner and then be off gonna apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner and then a little bit of blowout cream slash heat protectant and then i'm just gonna like put my hair in twists and then i'm gonna then sleep in those twists overnight just so my hair is not soaking wet when i need to blow dry it um and then yes the next day i will blow dry my hair and i'm gonna be blow drying it on semi damp hair i don't like to blow dry completely soaking wet hair because my hair is so long it takes so long so I don't really bother to do that anymore. I try to just sleep in twists overnight and then blow dry the next morning. So yes, as I was saying, stretched hair, guys, is the best hair. If you don't, if you're not a fan of blowouts or where you live is quite humid, then I definitely recommend doing even braid outs or twist outs. Or if you don't want your, your hands in your hair, even better, you can do a protective style. But for the most part, I'm such an advocate of honestly stretching your hair out and not allowing your hair to shrink up to its natural state because it will really, really, really help you save that length and ultimately get the growth that you want so badly. So yes. This is me prepping my hair for my blowout. Life got super busy yesterday, so I literally had absolutely no time to blow dry my hair. But I'm not really complaining because really and truly, my hair is like, I want to say like 90% dry. Maybe 90, 80% 90, dry. So that will mean that my hair will blow dry a lot quicker and easier because one thing about having super long hair looks great but it takes forever to blow dry it takes forever to do most things because, because there's just so much of it so i'm not too mad at the fact that i didn't get to blow dry easily and it is kind of a tip i guess if you don't want to 
you know, spend loads and loads of time blow drying your hair. Definitely just wait till the next day till your hair is like a bit more dry, so then you can blow dry. I'm gonna be using my trusty trusty red air. I've actually had this for quite a few number of years. It was gifted to me, but quite frankly, with all the usage I've got of it, I would have really just purchased it using my own money because that is how good it is. Um, the way in which I use it is I use it on speed seven on the actual box. <laughs> it's a bit dusty. So I put it on to the highest speed, which is speed seven, and then I use heat one. You've got one, zero, and two. I use heat one, and I get use that to mainly stretch my hair as much as possible. And then at the very end, when my hair is fully dry and like almost like 80% stretch, I will then go in with heat two, like the kind of heat blast at the very end, just to get rid of any texture. Um, and I will comb my hair in between that as well. So I use heat one, get it as stretched as possible, then I will comb it out and then I will use heat two because that will help get rid of any of the texture because what you don't want, if you're gonna blow dry your hair, blow drying your hair is great because it's a stretch style which minimizes tangles and minimizes breakage. However, you wanna make sure you're blow drying your hair to full completion to where it's like almost straight because what you will find is if you still have a bit of texture in your hair, that can cause a lot of tangling and you will also see as well that when I do blow dry my hair, I don't also let it out really that often. My hair is normally get to some braids or some twists just to preserve the blowout. And if I do remove the braids and twists, I will then put it back in to braids and twists either that day or the following day because blowouts can go very wrong if you don't maintain them correctly. Um, Cause I know I get a lot of questions about that. And yeah, so all I have right now on my hair is some leave conditioner and some heat protectant and I'm just gonna go ahead and start this process. So yeah, it's a little bit of a long one. Let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? One thing I forgot is my scissors because what you will find is when you're stretching your hair out, especially with blow drying, you will find some knots, some single stranded knots, some tangles that are just beyond repair. So I will just go ahead and snip them and yeah. It's always important to have your scissors on hand, especially when you're manipulating your hair because you never know when you're gonna find the tangle. So let me put this section away and I'm gonna go and grab my scissors. So just to recap guys, I'm going to be working in small sections and then blow drying my hair on heat setting one that's to ultimately get my hair as dry as possible and then i will comb it out just to get rid of any texture and then i will go back on heat setting two to get rid of any further texture and you'll see that i'm also cutting out any knots so you want to make sure your hair is blow dried to absolute completion you don't want to see any texture in there because that could create more and more and more tangles so you definitely want to make sure that all of the texture is gone out of your hair and that's a little length check your hair girl girl can we just deep how long my hair is i don't even have the words to exp to express my hair has never been this long guys these routines that i post every single month they work okay they work the proof is in the pudding <laughs> Anywho, just to touch base about blowouts and maintaining them and the benefits of ultimately keeping your hair in a protective state is, as I said before, protective styles and stretch styles honestly are the best for length retention. The moments in my hair journey that I've seen the greatest length is of course when I've been following these routines and also doing protective styling. I'm a busy mom, so quite frankly, I just don't have the time like normal people to like do their hair every day. So what I do find is that putting my hair in these protective styles really does help. As you can see, when I blow up my hair, I really just like let it out and let it be free and wild only because I know if I do that, it's going to create more tangles and then there's more chances of breakage so by all means there's no hard and fast rules to this natural hair journey i'm just showing you guys what's been working for me and if i'm going to be honest with you guys doing stretch and protective styles really work because the proof is in the pudding my hair is so long it can barely fit in the frame and that's purely because of the routine that i've been following and i've honestly been documenting this for quite some time so if you want you can even go back to my videos to kind of see how long my hair has gotten 
And yeah, I'm just kind of showing you guys that I'm putting my hair in these twists. And these twists really served me for uh, quite a while. And when I did want to like have my hair out, because obviously I don't want to be boring all the time. I do want to like look cool, like sometimes. So if I do want to look a little bit more fancy, I will take out the twists. And I will probably take them out for a maximum of 48 hours and then put them back in. So that's kind of like the cycle I have going on. This protective style does allow me to obviously remove it so I can still look somewhat decent but still protect my hair at the same time. And as you can see, I'm also going in as I'm twisting up each and every section with my hair strengthening oil because that will also help to seal the moisture and make sure my hair is strengthened because obviously I'm using a little bit of heat. I want to just make sure my hair is protected. So you will see me go in with each section with my hair strengthening oil. And that's ultimately my routine for blow drying. If you want a video more about maintenance, then definitely comment down below. But yeah, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. to completely blow dry and twist my hair obviously it took a little bit longer because i was twisting it and this is how my hair is probably going to be looking for the next few days maybe even up to a week and honestly this is going to be my protective style my hair is stretched there's going to be minimal tangles there's no chance for it to cause any real breakage i sleep on silk i use also silk scrunchies all from amendment naturals and yeah this is how my hair is going to be looking i can style it in so many different ways i'm quite active so i do go to the gym and i do actually get a lot of questions about how i like maintain my hair when i'm going to the gym so i'm honest with you i just try my best to put my hair in a protective style I guess I'm gonna sweat, but in reality, I cannot wash my hair every single week, or you know, sometimes it might even be three weeks because I'm too busy, I'm active, and I have a child. So I, when I was single and didn't have much to do, I could probably get away wash my hair every week. But in reality, I wash my hair every two to three weeks, and it, I don't really have much of an issue. And also, I do weight train, so I don't really sweat as much as, for example, someone who would do cardio. So I don't really feel pre the pressure to like always wash my hair. So yeah, that's that. And this is just how my hair is looking. And I'm probably gonna carry these twists for the next few days. It really depends if I have something to do, but I think this look is super cute. And if I really wanted to make this like a bit more legit, I could have put like some bands to make the partings a bit more just like proper. 
and just done the style a bit. But yeah, if you don't know about me already, my hair is a little protective style, but I'm writing at the time, and that has been one of the most important things when it comes to retaining length, as well as, of course, having a great routine and detangling safety and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is how my hair is looking. And I'm just happy that my hair is out of my hands. I don't have to fuss with it. I don't have to stress with it. And this was pretty much free. I did it myself. And yeah, this is how my hair is looking. Do mum life right now because I always like to pick up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably going to show you also what I do for maintenance because I do also get a lot of questions about how to maintain this kind of hair, especially in the blow dry state, how to maintain moisture. And really and truly, it first, of course, starts off with having a good routine, making sure that you're using a great deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. But if I do wear my hair out, especially, I know I will need to really do some kind of moisture. Um, and I pretty much do that by spritzing my hand with water, putting that through my hair and then applying some hair strengthening oil, that's it. And that prevents my hair from reverting. But truth be told, if I do keep my hair in these twists, my hair doesn't need moisture added to it much, if I'm honest with you. I can kind of get away with just leaving it like this until my next wash day. But yeah, this is pretty much all I do to maintain it. If I do take these twists out, I will just spritz some water onto my hands, put that through my hair and apply some oil. And of course, I apply some hair growth potion to my to my scalp and that is pretty much it guys. So ew, I just actually wanted to um, let you guys know how much hair I lost in that process. As you know, I did detangle in the shower and all that good stuff, but it's almost impossible to kind of go through manipulating your hair, combing your hair without any form of hair coming out. Majority of this hair is gonna be shed hair and shed hair is completely normal so long as it's not it's not as uh, excessive. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of people do actually find it encouraging when I do show you my hair fuller because it then makes you feel like you're not normal. But I guarantee you guys, as soon as I touch my hair, there is some form of hair coming. And that's just because with Afro curly hair, our hair can't just naturally shed and fall to the ground. Like, it just builds up in your hair because it's so coily and curly so don't be afraid this is normal for me anyway obviously i still have a lot of hair but yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye